I know you've been sitting on pins and needles. The <laughs> Westminster Dog Show wraps up with the crowning of the best in show. It is the second longest running sporting event in the nation. This is a sports story. No, it's not. <laughs> they say it is. Featuring 192 breeds, Naomi Choi Smith has the latest from New York. My choice for the best in show is the Beagle. Yeah! The Beagle! At the 139th annual Westminster Dog Show, it was Miss P, a beagle, that was named Best in Show. The winner bested more than 2,700 dogs from 15 countries competing for the top prize. I am super ecstatic about the winner. It's a beagle. I own a beagle. I was in awe and I almost lost my voice for cheering so hard. Behind the scenes, it was a crowded frenzy of primping and posing where handlers stop to powder their dog's nose while some lucky canines steal a catnap. We're so exhausted because we're trying to make sure they're not exhausted. Rocket, a Shih Tzu co-owned by publishing heiress Patty Hurst, won best in the toy group. He loves all the attention and pampering, as you can tell, and he, uh, he just, it's like getting a massage all the time. He really seems to enjoy it. The final day of the Westminster Dog Show is always chaotic. But this year, the weather forced dog owners and the handlers to prove their best in snow. Every time they come inside, their feet have to be dried and powdered so that they don't stain. For some dogs, this year's show is the last hurrah. Others will be back next February to once again strut their stuff. Naomi Choi Smith for CBS News, New York. I feel so alone in this studio. <laughs> Everybody around me from Cami. All right, Miss P's owner says this is the dog's last competition. Her next career is going to be as a mom to puppies. Congratulations. Big day. It's a big, big day. Thanks for joining us. Stay